some fun is making breakfast. And it's super good. I made a game, and so how you play is you gotta think of something in your head. <laughs> you gotta think of something in your head to make, to draw on the sand. So you gotta make a square and stay in the square. And the, the other person playing with you has to guess what it is. But you can't tell them what it is. And, and you gotta close your eyes while doing it. And yeah. That's very creative. I love that. Pretty yeah. tricky to do, but these girls are creative and good artists. Tell me what to do. All right, so here we are. We're in our hometown, Priest River, Idaho. A small town, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And kind of a funny story is a couple years ago, we came up here to check out Idaho. And on the way our, up here in Sandpoint, um, the same time we were coming up, one of the people we like to watch on YouTube, a family that's uh, into farming and um, having animals and raising their kids and stuff like that in the farm and hard work. So we've always followed them and they were up and uh, Sandpoint the same time we were so we met them got to talk to them and uh, also grass-fed homestead Dan Omen was up there and we got to meet him and go to his house very cool people um, so anyways on his tour you guys got to check it out it's called the Great American Farm Tour Justin Rhodes and he has a bus that they converted like an old uh, bluebird bus that they converted into a uh, like a motorhome. They gutted it, took all the seats out, and then they um, made it into a motorhome. Beds, sink, and everything. And so um, we're, here we are driving in the middle of nowhere, and Justin Rhodes just recently sold it. And look what we found. We found the Great American Farm Tour. There it is right there. That's the, the symbol. We found the bus sitting here in a parking lot right next to our house. What are the chances of that? So I just thought it was pretty cool that yeah, um, this is where we this is where we met them, a family that we've always followed and really liked and like their practicing for um, just how they raise their animals and raise their kids and, and parent and everything they do. We, uh, we like to follow them. So uh, Sean and Dylan spotted it. Like, hey, there's no, Justin no, Rhodes' no. old bus. And like, yeah, right, it's just another white bus. And sure enough, we turn around and and uh, it's got the sticker on it and it's got the black rims and everything so there it is justin we're following your bus still anyways kind of a cool story so here we are in the middle of nowhere and here's justin Rhodes' bus again all right i think they called it mabel or something right yeah mabel yeah there's mabel so anyways see you later and what flower. is that nope. it's a prickly wild rose it's a prickly Wild rose. Does it smell nice? Yeah. I love those. It smells good.
All right, here's my pie cut. So that tree right there, well, right there, was leaning this way. And I was pretty scared because that one I cut down, I wanted to go that way. <laughs> anyway, that way. So fail there, success here. So what's weird about it, it just smells like pickles. Not kidding. I was cutting it, I thought it was my saw or something. Smelling like dill. But it's this log. I don't know if it's a cedar or what, but anyway, smells pickle just wood. like pickles. Might be a pickle wood, <laughs> a dill wood. But I cut it and it was kind of doing this weird curve and leaning this way and it was dead. So that's gonna be some good firewood. I wonder if it'll smell like pickle smoke. Anyways, now I gotta limit up and we're gonna burn it this year to keep our house warm. So pretty awesome what this land's providing so far. So this one, I said, you know what? That one was a little scary because it went the opposite way I wanted it to go. So I said, you know what? I better just pray because this one's about double the size. So I prayed um, and lo and behold, the power of prayer. So thank you God for answering my prayer. I am alive. First time cutting down a tree. I got all my new gear on. My wife made me wear it, but that's all right all the safety sallies out there <laughs> yeah, it's probably good I I should wear it. just kind of lazy but anyways check it out that's our firewood for the year well that's probably a good amount not for the year not even close oh uh, see I gotta cut that one down too that one's dead and I think that's about it for the dead one all right see you later Thank <laughs> you.